What's up everyone, here is Akta and welcome back on my YouTube channel. It is time for me to show you another awesome, incredibly great and underrated epic hero. I'm talking about Veersley. It's one of my guildmates that showed me her potential here. I, also, I already know, knew that she was a great hero, but I didn't, I couldn't see her potential. And this is the goal of the video, I'm gonna show you why is she such a great hero against the guild boss. Trust me, she is just amazing. So this is the team I'm gonna use. I have two mythic heroes in it. You need at least a three exclusives on uh, Benostin in order to make it work. Then you don't need in Lucia or Hezonja. Just put in here your two highest damage dealer and it's gonna work, okay, with Catherine. So, this is the guild boss number six, okay, and this is my best shot so far. I never uh, reached this amount of damage. Um, this is just awesome. So, she's here, as you can see now, the boss has a 50% resistance reduction on him, which is pretty nice, so I can land my debuffs. And also, thanks to her ultimate, she lowers the attack of the boss by 40%, and she is awesome for that. Look at that, all my heroes have 25% um, more crit rate buff during two turns, uh, because I don't have her second exclusive. If I, it was the case, she would bring a 50% crit rate bonus on my heroes instead, which would have been way better and also she has uh, she brings to my heroes a 20% speed bonus on the second skill so she is just insane amazing so Visley is uh, here to allow my heroes to stay alive, to uh, do more actions during the fight, thanks to the speed buff, and also to allow my daughters to land their buffs uh, with this uh, re uh, resistance reduction. You are gonna see, the, she is just insane. Normally, sometimes, uh, here I should be dead with my Lucia, but the boss has the 40% attack reduction on him, and so now I don't have my buffs, so my, but my Catherine had more speed than before. Okay, no, this time I tanked the boss, but okay, it's uh, further in the in the dungeon. So here I buff myself again, and I I'm about to tank just because the boss has the uh, the attack down on him. This is just insane, and I miss almost no debuffs on the boss. So, at the moment, uh, something is not optimal with my current team because my Hezonja is an HP burning hero and uh, the first four turns uh, he deals more damage than my Lucia and so he takes the uh, debuff in HP and so he deals way less damage uh, during the, the rest of the fight. So maybe if I uh, switch him to another hero, uh, it could be better than that. So uh, I'm gonna show you a second video right after that in order to try with a different hero uh, instead of Hezonja. 13 turns and I am still alive. This is just amazing. I love that. So 100 million reached. Which is perfect. This is just perfect. So, in this team I lack some damage because I don't have the combat vanguard aura on one of my heroes, so it could be even better than that, but yeah, I have the combat vanguard on my Ulcaster, uh, so it's not the best shot I can do with this team. Look at that, I survived because of the debuff and the buff on my heroes. I have everything I need and so the fight is almost over because of the turn limitation and I'm still alive with all my heroes. So I died uh, on uh, turn 18th, but yeah, look at the damage here. 140 million damage, 82 million with Lucia, uh, 54 million with Hezonja. It could have been better with Hezonja. I just need to change a bit the stats of my heroes, but it is really, really insane for a first shot. So this is the second team I decided to use, so I replaced Hezonja by Ulcaster. Uh, my Ulcaster is, doesn't, doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but he is a heal to lower the defense and the tenacity of the boss, increase the attack of my uh, Lucia by 40%, so uh, I'm gonna deal more uh, bleed damage. And also, my Ulcaster has the combat vanguard aura with 1 star, so it's gonna increase the damage of my heroes by 18%, I think, something like that, or maybe 20%, I don't remember exactly. Uh, but yeah, it's a great increase. So now my Lucia is uh, targeted by the boss. But 
I'm gonna deal more damage to him with my Lucia. Look at here. Almost 30 million damage in 4 turns. This is pretty huge with only one high damage dealer in my team. So, fifth turn, I am still alive for now. So I don't have the buffs anymore, but the boss had the attack down and so he can't he couldn't kill my Ulcaster. So no debuff on my Lucia. Normally she would be dead, but the boss had the 40% attack down on him and so my Lucia survived, even if if it was a crit on her. This is just so great. Okay, so 8 turns. Just because of her, my heroes can survive. Act more times, deal more damage. At the moment, I have a green aura on her to increase her effect hit, uh, but maybe I should try to put something else. A mastery aura, yeah! Yeah, I should put on her a mastery surge aura to increase the dot damage of my Lucia. It could be a great idea. It could be a great idea. I'm going to do that in the future. Okay, I lost my I lost my Ulcaster and let me see why. Okay, just before. So the boss is gonna attack. He doesn't have the attack down on him and I don't have any buff on my Ulcaster and this is the reason why I died with him. Okay, but yeah, it doesn't really matter because now I have 40% uh, more damage on my Lucia. So yeah, um, it's a compensation. So 13 turns, 100 million reached. Almost dead. Almost dead. So let me go back. Let's have a look. So the boss is gonna attack. Yeah, he has the attack down. He has the attack down. Okay, he didn't crit. He didn't crit. Maybe he would have killed my Lucia now, but he didn't crit. Because I didn't have the, the consolidation with Catherine. Okay. But I already reached the 100 million, so it's okay for me. So maybe I, I need to change the, the order of skills of, on my uh, Catherine to put the consolidation on other um, turns. I don't, uh, I don't know, I need to test some things. So the fight is almost over. Eighteen turns, one hundred and forty-one million damage. Okay, I lost my uh, Lucia, and it is over. So I did a bit more than before. One hundred and forty-two millions. I did one hundred nineteen million with uh, Lucia on the guild boss number six. This is just insane. Oh, this is so great. But my Ilcaster doesn't deal a lot of damage, so yeah, this is not great here. But yeah, my Lucia. That was perfect. That was perfect. So let me show you my Vizli now. This is the build I have on her, so a bit, a, just a bit more speed than the boss. And I have a lot of effect hits, so I am sure to land the debuffs on the boss. Using the ultimate, she can lower the attack by 40%. Using her passive, every time she's gonna deal some direct damage, she's gonna reduce the resistance by 50% of the boss, which is pretty huge, but you need a lot of uh, effect hit in order to land the debuff. Uh, I think, I think, because here it is written reduces, and there is not, it is not written um, percent, certain percentage chance, chance to reduce the effect resistance, so I don't know. I think she probably, probably needs some effect hit in order to land this debuff. And here, look at that, if she was exclusive to, if she were exclusive to, I could increase the crit rate of my heroes by 40% instead, and she ups the speed by 20% of my heroes. Normally she can lower the speed of the enemy by 20%, but the boss is immune to speed down re to speed reduction. So yeah, I have on her a two effect hit set uh, with some. Uh, let me let me see. Uh, here, let me push myself. 
this is what I have on her. So uh, an HP one with effect hit and speed here, effect hit one with some speed and tanky stats, and here a speed one with tanky stats. And this is what I have on all my gear on her: speed, effect hit, defense, effect hit, HP flat, uh, HP rate, speed, effect resistance. Okay, doesn't really matter. Uh, HP rate, effect hit. So this is what I am currently using on her. She is just amazing. So uh, that was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case. As usual, please like, comment, and subscribe, and then see you in the next one. Bye bye. Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay.